hello and welcome back to Vampire. So we are gonna visit Aloysius Dawson and make him the immortal or maybe not. Is that is our mission. However, it seems like it's an awful long one if you're just not gonna make him immortal. Oi! Nice hat! Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. <laughs> what is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I've worked for the Ascalon Club? What the hell? I'm here on my own? Also, I'm buying some of that number four. I'm here on my own, sir. I have no official appointment other than my desire to save lives. Then we have the same objective, sir. The difference is, to catch my suspects, I use a magnifying glass and handcuffs instead of a microscope. Why do you use a magnifying glass? About your investigation? What are you investigating, exactly? I currently have a few missing persons cases. Mr. Tadao Kamura and Miss Louise Teasdale. I'm afraid they may have been abducted by my mysterious maniac. Louise Teasdale? Didn't I save her? Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but... I'm not equipped for such an investigation. I can't even tell him that I found her? I suppose I shouldn't. Tell me about Mr. Kimura. Tell me about Mr. Kimura. Mr. Kimura is a businessman who has been missing for a few days. He didn't go home, didn't go to work, didn't go back to his family. Where was he last seen? Mr. Kimura was last seen at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I followed a possible lead in the West End, but I found nothing. Sure. Tell me about the neighborhood. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, <laughs> especially when there's a killer on the loose. What killer? What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. No way! Who could that be? What about the epidemic? And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Damn. I think there's a new epidemic in town. And it kinda... The signs are pretty obvious. It looks like someone just uh, clubbed to, is just clubbed to death. And uh, that's it. And I think like hundreds of people, hundreds of people have been affected at this point, at least. Why are you investigating at night? Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Well, I'd like to report Geoffrey McCollum. I'd like to report a name, Inspector. Jeffrey McCullum. I'm afraid he's some sort of vigilante trying to recruit an army of angry citizens. Then I'll write the name down and transmit this intelligence to the appropriate office. Thank you, sir. What do you do here? What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Do you work alone? Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. 
So I suppose we gotta cover the rich people first. Tell me about this homicidal maniac. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Damn. Or maybe just one guy killing a lot of people with a mace. And... Not too particular about how he does it. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Ha! Huh. Okay. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. I'm impressed that you remember my name, but I suppose that helps you quite a bit as a detective. Wait, what? This is it. Open? Prices shop? Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed! I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Your life in London? The occupation. Yeah, sure. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. I changed that much. Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war. And the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. It suits you well. What? We're literally talking for like one minute. Shouldn't you bring this up a little bit later? They're just like literally meeting someone for the first time and they praise your, I don't know, your, your wisdom or intelligence. I mean, like can't really take that compliment. If you gave me, gave me that compliment a little bit later, sure. Okay. But like, as an opener? Mm. Tell me about yourself. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. <laughs> Very smooth. Very smooth, Carolyn. Tell me about the neighborhood. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up. Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. About your daughter's health? Pretty random. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. How so? Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. I suppose. I guess it needs to be balanced out. Like, like 
it, it, it needs to be protective in some way, I suppose, but also prepare. It's good to be cautious. Well, you gotta be live, you gotta be alive to learn, I suppose. It's it's not too bad to be cautious. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price, especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Doctor Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Okay. Uh, let's trade. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Hope you got some good stuff. No. This is trash! It's not what I want. I hope you can stay a little longer this time. I don't know. Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you again. Damn. Wait, you're selling nothing? No wonder this shop is not popular. Mister, what's up? Oh, never mind that. Look like a different guy. Just go around, uh, investigating the neighborhood. Light rod, we need those. Um, I suppose we can open the gate potentially toward Whitechapel. Stabbing me. What the hell? Why are you so tanky? Okay. Okay, some enemies over there. So, can we open up the way toward Whitechapel? Door has been unlocked. Great. So we can go here through Whitechapel. Also, we should open up uh, that door. Do I want to go for some fights here? Yeah, sure. This is not a place for you, sir. Over there. It is definitely a place for me. Looks like No, that burns away my blood. The beast must die! Okay, sure. Stopping with you. Why is he so tanky? Come on! Jesus! I'm dead. Some of them are just insanely tanky. I'm not exactly sure how the difficulty works in this game. Because it might work the same way it works in some uh, MMOs uh, or MMORPGs, I should say. Or not, not, not exactly exclusive to MMORPGs. That just your anything that's over your level is just so much stronger. Because you're not only uh, have is a little weaker to deal with that, but also you deal. Less damage to them. Ain't safe here for a gentleman. Oh my! Setting me on fire? Over 
here, mate. Wow. Being on fire sucks. I can't go for the Sabre because, uh, because of my build. They very much rely on biting people. Best be moving on. I should take out that Not guy. Not a safe place right now. Look at it, vicious. Is he gonna get cut? Okay, let's just lift up that guy. Oh no! No! Oh! Oh boy! I really want the snack from him. Wait, what? Is this it? Did I manage to find it? Still need to heal. This could be it. Looks fancy. Looks big. Oh, it's big. Let's see. I'm here. Uh, instant vampire package you just ordered. I take like uh, I don't know. Not sure what's valuable anymore. Like a bag of gold for the house delivery. Because damn. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? I don't really want to. But this is gonna piss off the Ascalon Club. And probably gonna hurt Lady Ashbury. Well, I don't have a problem with the dying part. If anything, that might even help, but... We'll see. This is definitely not the time for promises. This is the time for... Uh, what have you done? Do I really want this? I suppose we can always kill him later, but... Maybe not. Okay, check out the first floor. First. So fancy. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight, I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. I'm the only vampire here. Trust me, it can take a few minutes. Sir, so I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. 
I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. About feeding on blood? You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Okay, about becoming my progeny? I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. About the Guard of Privan? What do you know about the Guard of Privan? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Well, let's move on then. Well, hopefully this is not the final decision. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Was to contain the epidemic? Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. Infection could propagate? But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. Because that's working so well right now. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes, it will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Isolate the rich from the poor? Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. You'll create two separate prisons. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Who gave you the right to decide? Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Well, he's not flat out evil, only selfish and uh, inefficient, I suppose. He's definitely willing to throw his money uh, behind this cause. But in an inefficient way. I heard enough, did I? I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Turn. You sacrifice 2000 XP in the process. I'll make you a vampire. Embrace, I'll kill you. Well, with Embrace, we get his memories, I suppose. 
Do I want to make him a vampire? The thing is, I also with the, with the Ascalon Club. If we don't come through right now, uh, then I guess we're out, and maybe worse. Maybe Lady Ashbury is gonna be uh, killed, or at least threatened in some way. I'll make you a vampire. I feel like this is a limited choice here. We don't know too much. Lady Ashbury seemed to think that uh, he's a bad guy. He is not the greatest guy, but like even in these times, he's just like uh, just another regular businessman doing business. I'll kill you. Turn. I don't know. I don't want to turn him. Is this really a gift I'm giving him? Is it just really up to me to kill him? I'll kill you. Coming all this way just to kill the guy? I just want to be in good terms with Lady Ashbury, my wife. I'll kill you. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <clears throat> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Who gave you the authority? Okay, my XP level went up. Some hint failed. Can I rest in his house? The thing is, we don't need this guy. We can just kill him, take take his stuff. We don't need to make him an immortal. If you guys don't wanna live in his crib, I'll I'll do it. Easy enough. Bridge blood sample. Anything here? This house is weird. I guess that's it. Time to bail. District will soon suffer the conse consequences of your actions. Okay, here we go. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He did not survive the procedure. Do I wanna... Be upfront about this? But who am I to decide who deserves immortality, I suppose? Like, I'm, I'm not deciding who deserves immortality, but I'm also... Not necessarily turning people into immortals. In a way, that's, that's deciding it. He did not survive the procedure. He did not deserve immortality. I could not let such a dangerous man become immortal. Not from my blood, not for you. This is an outrage beyond words. 
This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor. And take that awful creature, that counterfeit <laughs> of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Damn. You guys want to be dead anyway. Can I just kill you? Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. You call- you calling Elizabeth the monstrosity? I swear, even at this point, he hates Elizabeth more. Wait, what? Who the hell are you? Oh, I see. The pet dog. Sewer dog. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. How did you meet her? How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers? What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. You hitting on my wife? Lady Ashbury in the sewers? She would never go down there. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. No one saw you? Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. What's going on? Lady Ashbury. You know her. Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. I have questions first? Well, no time to lose them. Wait, slow down. Okay, I need maybe, to ask you something. Some I'm questions. listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury? Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. Lord Redgrave knows you? Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who dun, told dun, her dun. about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. How did Elizabeth find you? I, I suspect that this is the case. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. 
She asked about many things. What do you think of her? What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths. Truths I have kept hidden for so long. I see. Well, no time to lose. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Tell her I love her. Tell her we need to talk. Tell her I worry about. Tell her I love her. Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? <laughs> I don't know. Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Okay. So, oh no. We need to go back to the hospital. I should probably open up that door. We should probably check out uh some parts of the sector before we go at least open the bloody gate so we can come here easily in the future okay we got the investigator man keep out Hmm. Might have to buy some lead pipes. Wait a second. Can we open the gate? Is there a gate here? That's the whole reason I came here. Oh, or a door. Door has been unlocked. Yeah. I'm coming, guys! This is now my domain, young Echo! What is this? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, 32? Yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck. What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More bullshit skills? Yeah. yeah. You're mine. Don't you know? Ben? Whoa, what the hell? Stop with the shadows. Oh, time for snack. Yeah! No, that's no good. So we take a left, then a right. No. We take a left, then a right, then a left again, then another right. Or we go like here. That's maybe more efficient. Let's do it. Should I go to Lady Ashbury and tell her I love her? I know. I'm coming! Kidding me, game? What I should do is go to a hideout and we need to take a nap, get ready for some fight. I really want to level up my defensive skill. How dare you interfere with my hunt? What the hell? <laughs> This Yaga guy again. You're bleeding. Yeah, it happened. Great. Mr. Yaga guy. 
kill me while he was just jiggling. Yeah. We are no longer a part of circle of life and death. We can't read the loading screen anymore. How dare you interfere with my hunt! What kind of hunt? Okay, let's heal a little bit. Seriously, I get defeated by one guy who just keep yelling "ya." Yeah. The ultimate is pretty bad. We we'll die because we start casting it. The cast time is long, but even then, it's like, "Oh, you did 600 damage! So great! How nice!" Are you from Ascalon? Spam the defense. What are you doing? What the guy? This okay, is more than half HP lost. Okay, maybe we can do the ultimate right now. What up, Shadow? 240 damage. This is what I suspected. You're mine. That higher level enemies take only a portion of your damage. Fuck up, Shadow. What the hell are you doing? What's your problem, man? So instead of 600 damage, they take 240? Uh, which is only 40% of the damage that it should be dealing. Of course, it's possible that uh, that particular enemy has a damage reduction, but I don't think it's the case. No! Go away! I need to kill her. Oh my god, why I locked the camera? This is a terrible place to fight. Okay, we managed to run into the poison. I'm just Seriously? I just need to run away. I can't, can't win this. So the game definitely has dynamic scaling. Oh, maybe I can kill this guy. No, there are two enemies over here as well. I can't defeat anybody. Maybe I can kill him. Snack time! Don't hit me in the back! Okay, that's good. Need to heal as well. Snack time! Okay, it's really hard to go for this city. Wait, what? Citizen quest. Citizen is in danger. I'm in bloody danger. Come over here. I want to defeat only you. Why is he regenerating so much health? Everything is... You can't even go to the... The hideout. Unless you defeat these guys. Which is what I'm trying to bloody do. 
You Londoners are no match for me. Seriously? This sucker again? Say ya. Don't you know my HP? Fuck off shadows. Okay, let's not attack those guys. Oh, what? Oh, I can't go down. That's bad. That's really bad. Seriously? Oh, look at that! Perfect. You get hit by one basic enemy, one basic attack. Not, not really basic attack. Special attack. I'll give you that. Insta death. I don't really like this uh, level system the game has. I'm pretty sure that it works the same way as it as I saw it work in some MMORPGs. Namely, like, our, our skill dealt 40% damage. I don't care. And probably, gotcha. uh, their skills deal a lot more damage. Fucking hell. I can't, I can't even go to the hideout. Literally the best skill at this point would be sneaking around, but even not that, even that could be tricky. Am I supposed to just murder citizens at this point? You London and vampires are so Why do I get hit by... Um, Come on, I still can't act. Now I can act. Okay. Stupid newborn! Oh my! Get hit by the shadow. He resisted it. Great. I need to fucking run away. We can defeat that guy, but it's risky. This is my territory. Oh. Fuck you, Shadow. Fuck you, Shadow. No. I'm gonna die. How do you survive? Okay, I do have a plan to take him down, but for that we need to wait for our cooldowns. Stupid newborn! You can't do shadow. Okay. Perfect. That, 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 but that's only one guy. Okay, let's see. What am I doing wrong? Because it definitely pisses me the hell off. But we do have a quest here. And we do have... This is the closest way. And because everything is scaled up to 31, apparently. Uh, we are ridiculously screwed. Is it 31? I'm kind of like 31. Doesn't look 31 to me. Can we avoid that and go the other way? At this point, I'm just gonna f uh, play like a puss. I'm not looking to fight. Apparently, a single human is stronger than me. Just Tug is stronger than me. Not like I played games for the power trip. Like, oh yeah, I can take down everybody in one hit. Nah. But this uh, difficulty jump is pretty sudden. Enter at your own risk. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So we got two tucks here. 
even if I go through them. Uh, that seems uh, easier to get to beat. Maybe my strategy is bad. Who knows? It could be. Oh, come on. The game must be n not this hard. So we got a guy there. Can I just go in? just want to go up. See, it needs you. I don't want to read. I want to go up. <gasps> home sweet home. I would recommend not going out. What the hell is going on? So we need to evolve. But how? This is the best skill we use. This is a useful skill. We don't really use the blink. Shadow whale. I don't really use aggressive skills because all my blood is used up on just trying to heal myself. And these cause blood. I suppose this works better if you have a uh, secondary weapon. Uh, I definitely wanna up that. So what is this? No, I definitely want, no, I don't care about that. I want the blood barrier. That is an awesome skill. So we're gonna up, wait, what? It's level 24 required. It's my level. It's 20. So... Yeah, this is what we need. Blood Barrier. Duration 5 seconds, absorbs 3 hits. It's not... It's not as important. Is, is there something else I should consider? Hard Biting? Biting is okay. But... Uh, Again, that's pretty situational. More endurance is okay. More health is okay. More endurance is great, actually. So I should try to spend so many points that I can still buy the be best heal. It's absorbed. But we can't spend point on this. Or we can't buy the heal. We're only level 21. I don't think we can do that. We need to buy the blood barrier. Uh, it really pains me to consider it. What about this? So if I do this, at max rank, we do 450 damage. Close ranged and gains blood, so technically we get... Uh, we get this effect for 14 blood. Or we stun him. I, that's better. That's better. At least you pay for something that's not complete garbage, but you actually pay more. So for this you pay 14. And for this you pay 700, well, 25. Uh, neither really interests me. Blood Spear. It can't be that experimental, actually. I think this is enough. I don't think we need to bring up coagulation to 4 seconds because, I mean, uh, uh, 8 seconds, because the point of the coagulation is that we put it on one target and that one target is not gonna act. And while that's going on, we are uh, getting our stamina regen, we are closing in, so that's okay and it doesn't cost us any blood. I do want to do on that, but it, we can't. That's that's an upgrade, but maybe not a significant one. Physical prowess 
is really good. Like, do we care about it, though? Because it would only get us 30 stamina, so, like, that's basically one hit worth of stamina for 3,000 points. Which is just, again, questionable. More blood. But, again, we already have 80% uh, bonus, so we have 180%. This is almost like a 10% bonus on top of that. So, not too exciting. It's not bad, but not terribly exciting. I think Blood Barrier level 4 is okay. The duration doesn't really matter. I only care about the recovery time. It, it helps, I suppose. But I, I mostly care about the recovery time. This is clearly the way to go. So we only got to level 22 with this. So we can't we can't level this up any further. At least at the at least at this point. So what I'm gonna spend on my 3,000 experience? I don't have enough. Uh, blood generation to really benefit from the aggressive ones. I think that would be a, a better strategy, but possibly a better strategy. You go with a weapon that generates you blood, like I, I think some of them can just de generate you 10 blood per hit, which is crazy. It's, it's a little bit better than relying on, on biting. Then you can just be aggressive and just spam skills. Hard biting doesn't really matter. Fast regeneration. Increase your life regeneration when using biting combat. That's so, 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 so tiny. More stamina is good. More health is good. Actually, I should just check out my health stat. Should I just reset? Okay. We're gonna lose it, but then I'm gonna decide later. I'm just gonna check. So we have 840 life, and that's... Do we want, what do we want? Like 50 life? Like, that helps, but... It's pretty costly. Stamina is... Actually, stamina is not that important either, because it seems like the regeneration rate is fixed. So, I'm not really sure what to spend my points on at this point. Uh, we definitely need this. I guess this is the best option. And we don't need this on a higher level. Maybe we can consider going for an aggressive style later. Shadow Whale. Yeah, this, this is mostly just moving around the city. I don't care too much about Sprint. Blood Cauldron Ultimate. Meh. Nah. I don't know. I really don't know what to put points into. Getting more blood is good. Getting a little bit more endurance is good. But at this point, nothing is really just screams pick me now, because it's awesome. I suppose I rely on endurance the most. I can justify picking up these points. Okay, we're 23 now. No, no, no. We're gonna confirm it. Welcome! Slightly stronger. Dr. Reed, terribly useful London. Is it though? Hopefully we're gonna be a little stronger. So I have a lot of stamina. 230 stamina, still 870 life. 
but we can't uh, significantly increase our life. And stamina just regenerates automatically. So I guess stamina is acceptable. Wait, what? No, never mind that. I'm not, not really using guns. I just like my style. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.